If I owned a boutique, this is exactly what it would be like. Inside, all the goodies I love, elegantly placed for people like me, who covet stationery, sweet-smelling candles, and handmade pieces. And if I owned a store like this, I'd hope to also be as humble as the shop's owner, Tanya Feinstein. Even though I'm the boss and it's my store and I know nobody's pounding on my door at 10 o'clock morning, I will be here at 9.45 at the latest. I can't be late. Tanya's boutique, Clover House, has been around for about three years now. And it's as cool as the story that led her to this space. I've been finding four leaf clovers for, I, it's been 15 years, I guess now, maybe longer. And I don't look for them, I just find them. Luck? Maybe. But Tanya is also a hard worker, researching stuff she knows her patrons, like me, will love. My stationery is just huge. It's um, probably my number one thing. It's what's keeping my store going. <laughs> <laughs> Handmade jewelry from Seattle designers, organic baby toys and clothes, and one-of-a-kind art pieces, most of them made locally. I'm a local business, and so being able to help other local designers or um, companies even, it really means a lot to me. She has this to say for those who want to be their own boss. You know, make sure it's something you really love. You know, that you really, you want to do this, stuff, you know, 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. all the time because it's, it's, it's going to become your life. Mm -hmm.